This TV shows black streaks everywhere on the screen. There's a visible delay in the picture and the picture is also very dim. Uh, it's pretty random, you don't uh, and it's don't it's not really heat or cold related. Here we see the TV as a whole. We suspect the Z sustain board which is located on the right side. There are three fuses which we check first and unfortunately none is open. What's most likely to be damaged on these boards is the hybrid IC in the middle, which in this case here is a YPPDJ017C. There are similarities between these, so I guess we what we find here is applicable to others too. There are two transistors which are visibly damaged. These two form a half bridge, as you can see here in the schematic. It's a pretty simple circuit. They use a half bridge driver, IR2106, and two buffer ICs, one for each MOSFET. I removed the two transistors and uh, checked if the, the two parallel diodes are okay or if they are blown too. They seem to be okay. I'm assuming these two components are MOSFETs, so I only need to find a replacement. And since I do not know a lot about them, I would choose anything with a drain source breakdown voltage above 250 volts because my VS is 186 and the continuous drain current of about let's say 5 or 6 amps. I had these two already here, they have a 600 volt VDSS and way more current handling capability than what I need here, but we're gonna try these anyway. It's better not to spend money on a set if you don't know if there are any other faults, right? We carefully scratch the complete area where we want to solder the pads of the MOSFET. If you do this, make sure you don't scratch too hard because you could make a short circuit between the substrate and the copper trace. We then solder both MOSFETs on the PCB and we put everything back together and test it. Well, this works. There are no black streaks anymore and a clear and bright picture can be seen. Before I assembled the, the PCB I also soldered two wires as close as possible to the hybrid IC from VS to ground in order to see if there are any voltage spikes that could damage the fats. There are no voltage spikes and actually I wonder why they burned in the first place. The 150 microfarad 250 volt aluminum caps seem to be okay because uh, there's no ripple at all on VS. So this worked okay and if you can't find a cheap replacement for the YPPD ship I suggest you try this method. If the VS powered half bridge is affected, use any N channel MOSFET with a breakdown voltage higher than 250 volts and a continuous collector current higher than the rating of the fuse VS is protected with. If you don't have one in stock, head over to digikey.com and use the search option. They are awesome. Good luck with your repair and thanks for watching.